All right, well, first of all, thank you guys for clicking on this video. We're gonna be learning how to play Mira. We're gonna go over the things that I've been learning from this past month, probably a little bit more of playing nobody else but Mira. Um, so thank you guys for watching and skip a little bit ahead. I'm just gonna cover some things. I just wanna say a big thank you to all of you guys who have been coming in from my how to play certain operator videos. They've been doing pretty dang awesome. Like they've been doing awesome. They're, they're, uh, especially the how to play Dokubi video. There's gonna be like a screenshot somewhere and the how to play Cav video. Those things I believe are at least 200 plus views right now. Crazy amount of watch time. Um, and yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Um, but with that being said, let's get on to this video of how to play Mira. Yeah. All right, so overall, I'd give Mira a 1.5 out of 3. And I say 1.5 out of 3 because her special gadget, super straight to the point, really easy to use. And the only thing that's really difficult about her is knowing when to use her. And also, the Vector's a little bit iffy, but the Vector's still a great gun that it doesn't really matter. But yeah, overall, 1.5 out of 3, mainly just because of learning when you should be using Mira. First of all, before I get further into the video, I just want to say sorry if I sound a little bit weird. Uh, I literally just woke up and I'm recording this. But besides that, let's go ahead and get into the loadout for Mira. So, first of all, I didn't really even bother using the primary shotgun. And the reason why I didn't really use the primary shotgun is because she has a secondary shotgun. So there's no point in using the primary, you know? Uh, so knowing that, we're going to use the vector. I'd use a reflex sight, extended barrel, and a vertical grip for that gun, for the attachments. Only thing that I'd warn you guys about the vector is that the recoil is a little bit different. Uh, but the fire rate kind of makes up for it, so it's really great. Uh, next, for the secondaries, you can use the ITA-12S, which is a secondary shotgun, and I recommend holographic sights with that. And I usually use a shotgun so I can open up holes to throw like my nitro cell through, but we'll get into other reasons why you could use the USP-40, which is the pistol, and also I recommend using a muzzle for the attachment with that. And basically, that's just kind of if you want something more similar to your primary if you want something that's a little bit more accurate than your primary though so say you're in a lot of clutch situations and you constantly run out of bullets or ammo in your primary it's a lot easier to use your secondary pistol to get those mid to far range kills rather than a shotgun obviously and then lastly, like I mentioned, I recommend using Nitro Cell as your gadget. So the first thing that I want you guys to know, considering tips and tricks, is that Mira is a very situational operator. And I wouldn't recommend maining her. Because Mira only really shines in a couple objectives or even a couple of maps. Other than that, it's really hard to use her well. But besides that, some other things I'd like to talk about is how you should use mirrors and ways that you could use your mirrors. So first of all, I'd place your mirrors at heavy traffic places or choke points or ways that you know the enemies are going to be coming through. This really gives a visual, literally, and gives you the upper hand in a lot of situations. Next. If you want to place them on soft walls, like just straight up, there's no reinforcements. You're just placing the mirror right into a soft wall. I recommend that if you're trying to get a lot of angles. If you're going to place it on a reinforcement, I recommend placing on a reinforcement if you're trying to side peek. So say you place on a reinforcement, but then there is a soft wall right next to the reinforcement where your mirror is at so that you can wall bang through the soft wall 
while seeing through your mirror on the reinforcement so that you're protected. Some other things I'd like to talk about. One thing that I really like doing is busting open walls for longer sights. And lastly, break the mirrors if it's necessary for the attackers to push in. This is a little bit more risky and it's mainly if you're trying to get the kills. But basically what I mean, say there's only 15 seconds left in the match and diffuser is right next to your mirror. Break that open so that if they're trying to push in, get the diffuser and plant, you can see them and shoot them while you're doing that and it's most likely going to catch them off guard because they're trying to rush in with very little time to act on things. Another thing that you can do if you're trying to break open your mirror is if you didn't have room to open up a hole to throw your nitro cells through, you can break open the mirror to throw your nitro cell through as well. To wrap up this video, I just want to give operators that I think pair well with Mira. My number one pick would have to be Mute. And the reason why I say Mute is because if you didn't know, Twitch drones can destroy the little canister that opens up the mirror. So not only can Mute protect against people like Hibana blowing up your mirror, but it also can protect against Twitch drones shooting your mirror down. The next people that I'd recommend would be someone like Bandit or Cade to where they can electrify your mirror and the reinforcement that you're on. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.